I'm going to show you like a real restaurant gourmet way to make the schnitzel my way. And I'm gonna make a delicious mash the same way that we make it in the restaurant. First thing you need is to make a really nice garlic butter. It's actually when you bump frying it, all the butter is gonna ooze and melt and create a lot of moisture and make it really nice and tender. Just get a little squeeze in the garlic. Okay, that goes in there. I'm gonna get some nice herbs and put them through the butter. You know, anything is green and flavorsome, so it's gonna work. So we'll make sure the butter is room temperature. It really helps to get the blades to work it through. So drop all the herbs in there. Season. And this is a fair bit of butter. Probably I won't use it all. I'm gonna use a little bit of lemon juice. Put your hand in there. And now all we have to do is just close it and pulse, baby. So now, to work in the perfect mash, the first thing, get your potatoes in rock salt. I'm gonna roast the potatoes in a really hot oven, at 120, 230 degrees, for 40 minutes to one hour, until they get really wrinkly. That gives us a lot of time to make the schnitzels. So, hands on. Chicken breast is really thick to use for a schnitzel. I'm all for slicing it in half. Now, with the blade, it's gonna go, up and down, like a yo-yo. Turn the ball like this. You're gonna create a little pocket with the garlic butter, it's gonna go inside. Okay, so you can use a spoon or a piping bag, open, and just go inside, and use the same spoon to almost pull back. What we're gonna do with this piece of breast now is quickly put them in the fridge for five minutes before we start crumbing them. So after it's been in the fridge for our five to 10 minutes, the butter inside is hard. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up a crumbing station. Plain flour, we'll put some paprika and some seasoning. After the flour, it's gonna be the first coating. We got the egg, and finally, we have the panko breadcrumbs. In the flour, a little bit of season, a little bit of a Spanish paprika, and mix a little bit. There you go. The bread goes in, okay? You know, a little nice jacuzzi in it. Make sure you dribble away. No, no, this is gonna go into the breadcrumbs. Now with the schnitzels ready to go, all we have left to do, frying pan, non-stick, a little bit of light olive oil. So I'm going really slowly. It just start spooning, almost like basting with the hot oil. Oh. To get the panko to be really nice and crunchy, it's important they go straight into a paper towel. And with this one now ready to rock, look at that, two absolutely stunning schnitzel. Now, we're gonna use a tea towel and a serrated knife. And while they're still hot, and this is super important, okay, we're gonna cut half through the middle. Beautiful steam coming out, look at that. Into the potato rice, uh, just carefully, don't bend yourself. Okay, you're gonna scoop out all the flesh into the rice. Uh straight into the saucepan, okay? It doesn't matter if it's not in the stove yet. There you go. <laughs> Scoop everything in there, and now it's show time. The cream is already getting nice and hot. So whisk it around like this to make sure that all the potatoes start sticking in the base. Switch it off, and I'm gonna start adding the butter and the cream gradually. A little bit of the cream and a little bit of the butter. The mashed potato is ready. Our beautiful schnitzel is ready. What I'm gonna do, a beautiful dollop of the mashed potato on the plate with the schnitzel. We're just gonna go straight on the side of the plate. We're gonna do maybe some greens. Chicken schnitzel, always a nice lemon wedge. And we're just gonna get a quick squeeze of the lemon. Wow, absolutely amazing. And that's how you take a normal, humble chicken schnitzel to the next level. Wow, stunning.